it's, uh, as you know, these provisions in the stimulus package have been a concern worldwide. That said, the package was modified to say that the U.S. would respect its international trade obligations. Obviously, we'll be watching the implementation of that in Canada. We've just proceeded with our own uh, stimulus package. It's not quite as big as the United States because obviously our, our economic difficulties at this point are not, uh, are not uh, nearly as deep. But nevertheless. Less. We have a stimulus package ourselves. We didn't impose by Canada provisions. In fact, on the contrary, um, we actually removed duties on uh, some important imports, uh, partly for our own interests and partly to stimulate trade. I, I do think, well, if this is a huge risk uh, to the world right now, if there's one thing that could turn a recession into a depression, it is a protectionist measures across the world. I'm very encouraged by the fact that President Obama said uh, that he was concerned about that as well, and I'm confident with the modifications that are made that the administration will implement this in a responsible way that won't cause protectionist actions uh, across the globe, because that would truly plunge us into a very long and deep, uh, deep economic... Because the, the devil is in the details, and they say, if you don't like... the way they implement this provision, would uh, Canada retaliate? Well, look, uh, if, if, uh, if any country doesn't respect uh, its obligations, Canada and other countries have recourse under, uh, under uh, international uh, trade law. Uh, That said, Wolf, I think this is a debate we would rather avoid. We, what we said at the G20 um, last year in November uh, was that all major economies would be committed to stimulus and would be committed to avoiding protectionist measures. I, 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 and part of the reason we're all committed to coordinated stimulus is we want to stimulate the global economy. We're in a global economy, not just our national economies. If we start thinking simply nationally and we start having policies that uh, try and uh, restrict the benefits only within our borders and try and implement uh, protectionist measures as a consequence, this will not have the effect we need to have on the global economy. And it's ultimately the global economy that's pulling most of us down, particularly countries like Canada, that aren't the source of these current economic troubles. Uh, You know, another potential thorn out there in U.S.-Canadian relations involves NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. Uh, you remember what President Obama said during the campaign about reopening perhaps some of the provisions of NAFTA. Uh, here's what he told the CBC this week. As I've said before, NAFTA, the basic framework of the agreement, uh, has environmental and labor protections as side agreements. Uh, my argument has always been that we might as well incorporate them into the full agreement so that they're fully enforceable. Are you uh, open uh, to reopening uh, NAFTA, if you will? Well, I think, I think we have to be careful what we're talking about. Obviously, we're always prepared to look at ways uh, to make NAFTA work better. I think, quite frankly, NAFTA and the predecessor Canada-U.S. Free Trade Agreement have been very good for both countries. Um, I don't think in any way we're each other's uh, trading problems. We're the biggest trade relationship in the world. It has grown exponentially on both sides under this agreement. So I think it's, it's all very positive. We're always willing to look at ways that can work better. But it's a fine line between looking at ways to make it work better and actually starting to open the agreement. I think if you, if you actually open the agreement, I think you would get into a, 
a negotiation that uh, that would never terminate. I'm, I don't think that's what President Obama is looking for, but obviously uh, I'm looking forward to having a discussion on, uh, on these kinds of trade and economic matters with him. The President uh, was complimentary to Canada on how it's been dealing with its economic crisis, especially in the banking sector. I'll listen to this uh, excerpt of what he told the CBC. In the midst of this enormous economic crisis, I think Canada has uh, shown itself to be a pretty good manager of the financial system and the economy in, in ways that uh, we always, haven't always been uh, here in the United States. All right, uh, we, uh, we know the Canadian economy is obviously a lot smaller than the U.S. economy, but what have you done? What advice would you have uh, for the U.S. and how to deal with this banking sector? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, has, has the Canadian federal government been forced to bank out the, the major Canadian banks? No, we've, we've, been in, we've gone into the financial sector and we've done some market transactions to improve liquidity, but the fact of the matter is we have the strongest banking system in the world. That's what the, uh, I think it was the IMF uh, that said that. We haven't had the bail. our financial institutions but the fact is because we're in a global financial market their ability to lend and to lend uh, at uh, competitive prices has been impacted by all of this uh, look um, you know it's, it's it's hard for me to give advice to the United States I would just say that there are some big differences here um, you know I look at President Obama in the last few days is trying to deal with three major issues he's got the uh, financial a sector package, he's got the housing package, and he's got the, the economic stimulus. In Canada, uh, we have uh, a strong and stable banking sector, as I said, the strongest in the world. In Housing Wolf, we have, uh, you know, a cyclical downturn along with everybody else, but we don't have anywhere near the subprime or structural problems that you have in the United States. That's been through, uh, you know, quite frankly, better and more active regulations, and also, uh, I think, a, a more conservative financial sector. Um, we're doing stimulus as well, but we're also doing that from a position, a position of uh, financial strength. Our, uh, our government is in a, has been in a surplus position up until this year. Uh, we should be able to recover uh, to a surplus position shortly, as, as quickly as the economy recovers. So we're able uh, to do the kind of stimulus uh, that you see uh, in the United States without, uh, without deteriorating our, our uh, debt position in the long term. We're going to have more of our exclusive interview with the...